Hello, my name is Viviana Vishafanie. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at Walter Schottky Institute, and today I have the pleasure to show you the Quantum Magneto Optics Lab. So, hi everybody, welcome to the Walter Schottky Institute. Here we are at our Quantum Magneto Optics Labs. Here we studied single quantum dots. The quantum dots are grown here in the, our nanofabrication facilities. And the first step is to look for single quantum dots, which we do in this setup over here. We try uh, to find the brightest quantum dot that we can, and we try to test them to see if they have good qualities. Uh, these quantum dots are also grown with some Schottky diodes for two reasons. They allow us to tune the emission energy of the dot, but also they uh, allow us to control the charge state uh, inside. Uh, this is why here we have some uh, micro PL mounted uh, where we can uh, search for the dots and test for the Schottky diode uh, yeah, characteristics. We also sometimes uh, embed our quantum dots in some nanostructures. Uh, that's why we also have in the same place some Fourier imaging techniques mounted to see the pattern emission of the cavities that they could be embedded in. We detect a quantum dot that has uh, a good quality. We want to try uh, quantum optics experiments to check out the purity of the single photons that it emits and also the indistinguishability of the photons that it emits. That's why here we have this probe stick. So we build all the optics at the top where we can either excite a quantum dot and collect the single photons that are emitted. And down here at the bottom is where we build the sample. And this whole stick goes inside a, a duo full of uh, liquid helium to keep the temperature about at 4 Kelvin while the whole experiment. control and manipulate the spin state qubit and perform entanglement experiments with the photons that we send in and out with this optical hair over here. Uh, in this magnet over here we usually work at the temperature of 1.4 Kelvin and we can apply either a 9 Tesla field in the inroads direction or a 3 Tesla field in the plane of the quantum knot and we can also align in the plane the quantum knot to be able to manipulate spin state. Um, this is a very crucial, uh, critical experiment. We have a lot of experimental drawbacks here. For instance, we have to have a very stable temperature. We have to be able to align the external magnetic field really well with the quantum dot inside. And we need to be able to isolate the whole system from the mechanical vibrations that are over here such that we can uh, do a very good experiment. So in this lab we have two types of lasers. We can either excite the sample using CW lasers or using femtosecond lasers. This is a femtosecond laser that, uh, laser that we have over here. And as you can see, we have set up all the optics state to be able to rotate, for instance, the, the speed state in the, our quantum dot qubit. You can also see over here that we have a delay line mounted to be able to send pulses uh, with deterministic delays, delays among them to be able to further control the spin qubit. 
we are also exploring in this lab novel quantum systems based in uh, two-dimensional systems, TMDCs, such as tungsten selenide and molybdenum selenide, and we are investigating how to build novel quantum te technologies by, uh, for instance, putting impurities into these 2D materials and uh, creating uh, single photon emitters. That's why over here we have a visible PL setup in which we can probe for the properties of these novel quantum emitters and also, uh, okay, we can do regular PL, time result PL and Fourier imaging of our emitters. Thank you very much for joining me today at, here at Dr. Schott Institute. Uh, it was a pleasure for me to have you all over here and I hope you are enjoying your conference.